Hello everyone, it's Matt Redman here. It's my great friend Sam Cox playing keys here and welcome to Air One's Worship Wednesday. Always a privilege to get to lead on, in these moments and I love it already. You can see people joining from various countries and various states of the USA to welcome and I decided to do a little, something a little bit different today so we're going to journey to Calvary together and we're going to we're going to go and, and just dwell there a while and we're going to start off with some old hymns and I want to take you through some of my songs that have been sung around uh, around the cross and and there's so many different ways you can approach that place you know William Cooper the old hymn writer he said there's a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunge beneath that flood lose all their guilt and stains the dying thief rejoiced to see that fountain in his day and there may I the vilest he wash all my sins away it's saying everyone knows that guy was guilty but wait a minute I need the grace of God just as much as that guy did and so we journey to the cross and throughout the centuries people have been writing hymns and songs at this place of Calvary so we want to journey through a few of those today and take you with us Isaac Watts when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest boast I count but loss and poor content. How great thou art him. And when I think that God his son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in that on that cross my burden gladly bearing he bled and died to take away my sin. Just take that in today. He bled and died to take away our sin. And you got the old classic, Jesus paid it all, Avena Hall, 1865. Jesus paid it all. Charles H. Gabriel came to the place of Calvary and he sung this. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene. Song 
shall ever be. about the same time there's a revival happening over in Wales where Sam is from and I'm half Welsh too and there was the Welsh revival read about that if you never have it's such an exciting thing to see how the kingdom of God broke out in that nation at that time and they sang this song this song came out of that time of revival about the cross here is love vast as the ocean Loving kindness as the flood When the prince of life by ransom Shed for us his precious blood Who his love will not remember Who can cease to sing his praise how people find their way time and time again to Calvary and they can't stop singing and as a songwriter I realize there's so many different ways you can go to the cross so many angles you can look at the cross through so many different windows you can look at the cross through and see something glorious and good about what Christ did for us there in that place and what was won for us and how it was achieved for us and what else it achieved layer after layer of goodness and mercy victorious mercy and I've been writing songs for a few decades and one thing I try time and time again is to go back and write a new song about the cross someone once told me the best songs have a universal theme in a unique way so you take a universal theme something we should sing about and we want to sing about together this grand theme of Calvary and but how can I sing of it in a fresh way melodically or even lyrically how can I find a new way and these were little, my little attempts through the years I'm going to start with I think probably my first song on the cross it's called Once Again I'm going to end with my most recent song on the cross I'd love you to join us join your hearts together wherever you are it's wonderful that you're here on Air One's Worship Wednesday with us come with us to Calvary. (laughs) 
Jesus Christ I think upon your sacrifice You became nothing Poured out to death Many times I've wondered at your gift of mine I'm in that place once again I'm in that place once again And once again I look upon I swear you die I'm humbled by your mercy And I'm broken inside Once again I thank you Once again I pour out my life Rescue. Uh, it's the first song I ever wrote with my friend Jonas Myron. We wrote 10,000 Reasons together and we wrote Our God with Chris Tomlin. And we've written a ton of songs. This is the first one we ever wrote together. You who, oh Lord, could save themselves, their own soul could heal.
from the grave You came down to find us Let us out of death A song I wrote with Jonas and with my friend Chris, God of Calvary. By his wounds I am set free. By his blood I've been redeemed. The great divide he crossed for me. Oh, praise the God of Calvary It's by His wounds I've been set free By His blood I am redeemed The great divide He crossed for me Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you did for us in that place. All that you paid for us, all that you won for us, all that you've done for us. A guy called Oswald Chambers, he says at the cross, this great collision takes place. It's the collision between the, the righteousness and holiness and perfection of God and the fallenness and brokenness and failure and shame of us. This big crash takes place, this big collision. He says the reason why salvation is so easy for us to obtain is because all of the cost and all of the pain and all of the shock of that collision was absorbed by the heart of Almighty God. I'm just breathing that truth today as we stand at the foot of the cross. All of the pain and the shock and the cost, every single part, was paid for by God to restore us to Himself. Dying, He destroyed our death. Rising, He restored our life. This is Jesus. So on my last record, Let There Be Wonder, I had to have a song about the cross, and this is the one I wrote this with a couple of friends, John Gare and Andy Rosier, and uh, from Vertical Worship. And this is Upon Him. Upon a hill, a perfect saviour, That should have fallen on us Upon Him Upon Him Upon His head The crown of thorns Upon His heart The broken world The wage of sin our transgressions upon him upon him Christ has died we are forgiven in Christ alive we are the risen and he shall come again pray
Christ has died, Christ has died. We are forgiven in Christ alive. We are the risen and we shall come again. Praise the King. Praise the King. has died we are forgiven in Christ alive we are the risen and he shall come again praise the king praise the king give him praise from your heart today give him praise from your heart same love you find at Calvary right there present with you today. So thank you so much for joining with us today for Worship Wednesday on Air One and um, we're going to sing you one more song. So this is my most recent song around the cross. I wrote this with a few guys. Nate Moore, Aaron Moses, David Funk and this is on the brand new Bethel record that came out on Friday if you want to Check out the song, it's called Son of Suffering. Um, just amazing thought to think that there's, <coughs> excuse me, there's a God who identifies with our suffering, a God who, he was a man of sorrows, he's called a man of sorrows. He was this, he was one who's acquainted with grief and familiar with suffering. It's an amazing thing really to think these are words that could be used about God and then we we sing of a God who, who weeps a God who even bleeds it's the greatest mystery I've ever heard of but it's true and it's real and it's amazing when you get hold of it maybe you're watching today and you need a saviour and maybe that kind of saviour sounds very appealing how can it be it's not just like he's rescuing me from afar but he got right down in the dirt with me He's been in the mess. He's, be, he's walked this world the way we walk this world. He knows what it is. He knows what living is. This is Jesus. And then, then there on the cross, he took it all upon himself. So join us today in his final song, Son of Suffering, as we sing to a God who is both son of suffering and a glorious risen Savior. There's a God who weeps, there's a God who 
to worship with you today and to gather at the foot of the cross. Stand at Calvary, kneel at Calvary and worship our glorious Savior together. He's got everything you need today. Maybe you came broken. Maybe you came feeling ashamed. Maybe you came needing healing. He's got everything you need today. Jesus. Thank you that just as that blood flows down, the grace flows down and mercy flows down, hope flows down, and freedom flows down and peace flows down. And love flows down and kindness flows down and goodness flows down and rescue. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the Savior that you are. Keep singing to the Savior. It's wonderful to have this little moment with you today. Thank you so much, Sam. Thanks, Air One, for hosting us. Have a wonderful evening or day or night, wherever you are around this globe. And we hope to worship you with you another time. God bless.